I want to talk briefly about the retraction that Chaucer writes, presumably very near his death, as he's looking for, um, he's looking to reconcile himself with the God he understands and asking forgiveness for his sins, where he openly repents and apologizes for having written worldly vanities, including the Canterbury Tales, including some we read, certainly including the Miller's Tale and the Wife of Bath's prologue, and probably his tale too, her tale too. Um, and a bunch of his other hits, the Troilus, the Book of the Duchess, the Parliament of Fowls, all the, you like, the Canterbury Tales is his most famous work. The next two to four, two, three, and four are also on this list of things he repents, he's sorry for. What can we make of this? I would tell you simply, people are complicated. Writers at least as complicated as the rest of us. We talk a lot about, I talk a lot about writers. I use the writers' names. But we shouldn't be too careful to generalize about the writer's personality. People change over time. The same author who feels at one point in his life that what he's written is embarrassing and bad, completely at other points of his life, um, enjoyed it, liked it, was proud of it, made, had people, made, had, had multiple copies made by the scribe he employed. That can, the, the, the retraction muddies the waters and takes away Chaucer as we want him to be, our kind of jolly, jokey uncle who's sticking it to the man. Um, and maybe especially if we are not in sympathy with the religious views of his day or of religious views generally, we want to be a kind of anti-religious figure, ha ha ha. And then here at, he turns around and he isn't. First of all, it tells us we've been shoehorning him into two simple a category. Instead of generalizing about the author's personality, we should look at the details of the writing itself. I talk about writers, but what I really mean to talk about is writing. Writers are changeable people. We ask them, we can ask them about the same piece of writing at different times at their life, and they will say different things. They change. They are complicated. They are not who we want them to be. We should not try to force them and make them into who we want them to be. We have our preferred version of Chaucer. There's a preferred version of Spencer. Oh my goodness, is there a preferred imaginary version of Shakespeare that people have? Holy cannoli. Forget that. Look at the words themselves. The writers will let us down. They're people. They're human. They disappoint us. The right because they're complicated. The writing is even more complicated. Because it's so complicated, it won't let us down. It will continue to show us surprising new things.